If you want to stand out from your competition, you need to get practical experience. Optimize your time and put your focus into leveling up your hands-on skills by applying theory into practice will gradually separate you from your competition. And I am not just talking about completing labs and answering questions. By the end of this video, you'll know what resources that you can use to develop these skills, how you should tackle them, and more importantly, have an action plan going forward. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Steven, and I've been in the cybersecurity industry for over half a decade, specifically within the security operations domain. Although this video was tailored towards those who want to become a SOC analyst, the concepts can apply to other roles. Let's begin with the problem, which is lack of practical experience. I've sat in many interviews where I was brought in to assess a candidate's strength to quickly find out that many are lacking in the area of practical experience. And I'm not talking about work experience here. These candidates would have a ton of certifications and some vendor specific ones such as Splunk or Microsoft, yet they can't hold a conversation about them. For example, I may ask what port a certain service runs on and they would be able to answer that almost immediately. But if I were to ask about how they would check to determine if an email is phishing or walk me through an alert, many wouldn't be able to do that. And this quickly shows the level of experience the candidate has. I get it. Interviews can be daunting and affect a candidate's ability to think clearly or articulate their thoughts. But this is where mock interviews can help. So if you aren't doing mock interviews already, I would highly recommend you try them out. The beauty of these questions is that you either know the answer or you don't. And trust me, if you don't know the answer, you should explain what you'll do in that scenario. But don't guess. Here is the solution. Resources that you can use to develop these skills to tackle the problem. You must recall what are the main responsibilities for a SOC analyst. And those are to monitor, detect, analyze, and respond to threats within an organization. And with that, I break it down into five categories that a SOC analyst should be comfortable in analyzing. One is identity, two is cloud, three is network, four is malware, and I'm not talking about reverse engineering, but basic analysis, and five, endpoint. These are what you should try to focus on when looking to develop your hands-on skills. Some of the resources that you can use are Cyber Defenders, Blue Team Level 1, Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and Let's Defend. I have created a video about the top 10 resources that you can use and I'll link it down below. Do you keep in mind that some of these resources are paid, but what is important here is that whichever resource you go with, you want to ask yourself if they fall under any of the five categories. Also, an important note about these resources is that many, if not all of them, will provide you with questions to answer. The goal here is not to just find the answer, complete the lab, and call it a day but rather develop a methodology on how you got the answer. For example, if you get stuck on a question and look for a write-up, don't just copy the answer and paste it in. You want to understand how they got it, what did they do to get it, and how you can do the same going forward. In addition to labs, you want to put some time into building projects because this will allow you to build up your troubleshooting and researching skills that again, many just don't have. The more you put yourself in different scenarios, the more you can talk about them, making you a more attractive candidate. Trust me, nothing sucks more than being asked something on your resume and you're unable to go into more detail about it. Some projects that you can do that I've created on this channel is the SOC Automation Project, Active Directory Project, and the more recent one, the SOAR EDR Project. All three will put your technical skills to the test and will be extremely rewarding once you complete them. The material is out there, whether it be free or paid, but the fact is that many lack the discipline to do it. I get it, time is a factor, but start small and gradually build a habit. There is no excuse. I mean, the important part here is to just start. I don't care if that is opening up a terminal, opening up your notepad, or even registering for an account. Take small steps and eventually build a habit. Your future self will thank you for that. And here is your action plan. I want you to register for any of the resources that I listed. And if you already have an account, great. The next thing I want you to do is choose a lab that falls under any of the five categories and is SOC related. 
You're not interested in attacking machines or scanning them for vulnerabilities unless you want to get into risk assessment. Next, I want you to mark in your calendar or notebook or wherever you put your notes that you'll make it a goal to try out the lab within the next week. I am not asking you to complete it, but if you do, awesome. But I want you to at least read about it and try maybe answering one or two questions. Remember, we are taking things slow so you can eventually build a habit. Do this for at least 60 days and once you get comfortable with the labs, start thinking about projects. You can try completing the three projects on my channel if you're not sure which projects to do. Regardless of choice, by the end, you should have more confidence in your technical skills. And that, ultimately, is what is going to set you apart from your competition. If you didn't know, I have a course called the My D for Sock Analyst course that is aimed to tackle one problem, and that is the lack of practical experience. So if you have seen my labs and have done my projects, you would absolutely love this course. It has over 30 labs and five exclusive SOC projects along with a final capstone that mimics a real compromise. You can find more information about the course down below. That is it for the video and I hope you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.